Hey everyone, it's Jason from Bodyworks here today with Dan from Core Fit to go through some fitness related education for you guys. Um, so what I wanted to talk to Dan today about was group fitness and boot camps, why they're good, what's the difference, um, and go from there. So I guess Dan, um, you know, you're the fitness expert, you guys run group fitness as well as small personal training groups. Um, what's the difference? Yeah, good question. Um, so the main difference is well, first of all, the numbers in the group. So that can dictate someone's experience and what they like. So for us personally, so our small groups, um, we cap at eight in a group. Yeah. Um, and our bigger groups are up to 20. So um, there's a significant difference in that respect in terms of, um, for us, typical types of clients who like small group generally are people maybe who haven't done exercise in a long time. They're getting back into fitness. Um, they don't like the bigger crowds uh, and it allows them to get a bit more critique with their session as well without paying for the one-on-one program. So some people like training with people but they don't want to be a big group of people yeah, and I can understand that as well. So great for the people who have a, you know, maybe a weight loss goal, um, they need a bit more nutritional support as well, we get a lot more, um, um, I guess, guidance from that as well, a lot more support there. Um, but then big group for great social obviously, socially people love it. Um, Everyone kind of gets in, cranks it out, gets out. Um, those people generally get more experienced with their fitness yep. as well. So they don't need quite about the, the tech, I guess the, um, the techniques, specifics and stuff yep. that the people in small group might need. So um, great, both are great benefits to people. It just depends on what the person feels like they need. And for us, we're never gonna put someone in a big group if we don't feel like it's mm. the best fit for them um, because it's just not gonna be the right fit for that person. So yeah, great to have both options available. Yeah. And what sort of exercise do you have? Is it all the same exercise? Like I know a lot of people think of boot camps and they think they're just gonna be running up and down the field all yeah, day. But sure. obviously, you know, that it's quite varied with the exercise you can do. Sure, yeah, we, we, there is, I guess there's boot camp and then there's group fitness. And, yep. um, I guess boot camp, you typically think about things like running or your know, tire flips, or you've got the you know, sergeant slaughter in your face yelling at you kind of thing. Yeah. Um, we're not not that unfortunately. We're a bit more kind of we call ourselves group fitness. So yeah. for us, we do a combination of lots of things. So we, we run both outdoors and indoors. So it gives us the option to do different things depending on where we're at. Indoors yeah. gives us a bit more. Um, I guess leverage to use things in the in the shed. So yep. you've got things like suspension trainers, um, medicine balls, kettlebells, sleds, all that stuff is great. Nice. Outdoors, um, a bit more limited, but you can still do lots of stuff. So we still take equipment, but as yeah, there's a bit of running, there's skipping, um, lots of body weight variations and stuff as well. So I guess one thing we're good at is making sure that we keep it variable and keep it fun for people. Um, that's important. Yep. And I guess one of the questions we get as physios when we're treating someone, we yep. always want to keep them exercising. Um, and we always try and explain to them that even if you're injured in one area, we can still, you know, write some information out for you guys as PTs. They can take that in and you guys can modify things as they're going along so that they can still train but not affect their injuries. Yeah, totally. I, it's so important. I think, um, you know, we always go off the advice of the physio and, I mean, you guys have been fantastic in that respect as well. So um, for us, it's, it's, it's not hard to modify exercises. It's quite simple, really, even in a group setting. Yep. Um, because yeah, like I said, often there's lots of things people still can do. Yep. Um, and we don't want to wreck their goals. Right. Like if they've got a goal set and they've been training really hard and then you have a little injury, like you've rolled your ankle or something, there's still so much you can do. We don't want to say, well, you can't train for four weeks because that's going to hold you back when there's so much you can do. Absolutely. So, I think a lot of people do train for the mental side of things. And yeah. that's, you know, if they have to have time off, they have to have time off, of course. But if they can get around things, I think just psychologically for a lot of people, that's a big thing that they can keep doing something and feel like they're doing something um, and not fall back with old habits or, or you know fall off the wagon so i think uh, being able to modify and work around things is really important as a trainer yeah. yeah and i guess like as you said the variability is great too because like from our perspective when we're looking at fitness benefits um, by varying what exercise you're doing you're not over stressing parts of the body um, you can train all different areas like do the resistance which is so important for women um, but also it's that social aspect that you get that social interaction in a group setting as well. I think that's that's probably the main thing. I think that's why our clients probably value just as much as anything is the social yeah. part of it. It makes great friendships. Um, some people have come to us new to Newcastle not knowing anybody and make great friendships through um, other, other people, like-minded people as well. Um, and yeah, we're big on balancing the movement 
movement stuff. I mean, it's important to make sure that you're balancing your body in different movements and um, not, like you said, overloading the same things all yep. the time, which leads to chronic injury and all those things can happen. So we're big on that. We have a structure we use for that. Um, it's important that you know, for people coming to us who are generally between 30 and 50, um, you know, we don't want to see those people yep. kind of hobbling around and not yep. be able to do things. So, yeah. Excellent. So guys, if you have any questions about fitness or group fitness uh, that the guys do at CoreFit, please get in touch with them. Any problems with injuries related to fitness, please get in touch with us at Bodyworks and we'll steer you in the right direction. Thanks, have a great day.